Hello and welcome to another model building workshop. Today we're going to be looking at the Japanese Nakajima KI-84 Hayate, allied just nicknamed the Frank. This is a Tamiya kit which dates back to the early 70s, probably like 1972. And it's been in their production for a long time and it's still a pretty wonderful kit. A lot of fun to build. Highly recommend this one because it's fun and the price tag is still fairly low. Um, I think you can get this between 14 and 17 at your local hobby shop. Not too bad these days. Uh, so yeah, it's from 1972-ish. I guess that's what viewers looking at. Let me just check in here. Yeah, it said first produced in 72. That's a classic kit, and it continues to hold up well despite its age. I totally agree with that. Um, it's got the typical uh, fall together, almost builds itself kind of quality, which I really love about Tamiya kits. Uh, I think if you left the glue on the counter with this, with the parts, you probably wake up and it might just build itself overnight. So let's talk, while well, I got this article up, about the um, the decal options. I, I went for this because I just thought this was a cool looking version. And I'll show you some more from my book just just a second. So you, you had a couple of options here and uh, this one, number 24, was from a temporary interception core. And I guess Staff Sergeant Jotun Naito was the uh, pilot of this flying out of uh, Nakatsu Airfield in March 1945. So that's what that one is. Uh, you had a second option from South Manchuria, 1945, a natural aluminum, which a lot of these planes tended to be that. Um, there is one for the Shimbu Unit Special Attack Corps with a tail number of four. That's out of, the, out of the Miyazaki Prefecture in Okinawa. It's a dark green and light gray blue color. If I'm not mistaken, that had like a skull and crossbones insignia on it. And when they're saying a special attack core, that really means a kamikaze aircraft. That tends to be what, be what that is. Um, and I could not even though the skull and crossbones emblem was cool, I just could not build that kamikaze aircraft. Just a little grim for me. Um, I know it's history, but uh, let's see. There was another one here from the Philippines in 1944, also in dark green with light gray blue underneath. So anyway, so that's what the uh, decal options were with this Tamiya kit. Uh, I no longer have any of the uh, information for this kit. It, I didn't build it that long ago, but I didn't keep all of the paperwork with it. I have a tendency to do that, but, you know, I'm trying to not hoard everything <laughs> and keep everything. But, you know, as you can tell, when I'm working, I tend to, I tend to get into a kit and I tend to have stuff in my paint and everything. Anyhow, that's how I work. I just dive right in and whoo! Um, kind of the same way cooking. I get pots all over the place doing all kinds of stuff. So I'm kind of a nightmare in that regard. Sorry, folks. Um, so anyway, let's have a look at this. So you're going to see the uh, nice white and red Japanese flag emblems here. So that would indicate that this plane was doing home defense duties in the Japanese home islands. So the reason for the red and white, you know, the flag emblems was so that anti-aircraft gunners with their binoculars and telescopes and whatnot would see the white and the red from the ground and know friendly plane, don't hit it kind of thing. That was the concept behind this, as opposed to just, you know, the red sun. So the, the hope was that this would be spotted easier by friendly crews and not targeted. tend to enjoy this personal emblem he's got here of the 
jackrabbit running or hare, whatever that is. Don't always know the difference between rabbits and hares. But for those of you out there that know, feel free to put a comment down. <laughs> I think it's the size of them, but anyhow. So again, a lot of fun. There's a pilot in there, if you can see him. I don't know. And kid friendly. These are just a joy to put together. So looking at the the Nakajima KI eighty four, Ayate or Frank, as the Allies knew it. This is a late war aircraft. It tended to have two 20 millimeter cannon in the wings and two 12.7 type 103 machine guns in the fuselage. So this is pretty well armed. And as you can see, it's typical paint schemes. I guess a lot of these were green, but I'm, I'm familiar with a lot of the silver ones. When I was a kid, I built the silver one shown here, the old aluminum one. I did that one from, uh, I think it was a Hazagawa kit in 172nd. Oh, hit, and here we go. Yeah, that's the one I'm talking about there on this page here that's got the skull and crossbones from the special attack unit. So you can see it there. Yeah, it doesn't really get into what that is here. So this first flew in May of 1943. Production started and yeah, they were began to deliver in 1944. That's a few other examples here and there as well. You know, excellent fighter plane, arrived late in the war, didn't have that big of an impact on, on the war. But as for a model, it's a beauty. And it's fun to build. So keep on building, have fun. We'll see you guys soon on an upcoming model building workshop. Bye now.